Hi, welcome back to At Home with Tilly. If you'd like to learn how to make these delicious pizza pinwheels in just half an hour, keep watching. So the first thing you'll notice, so we're in the kitchen today and there's no wine in the house anywhere to pay for it. So we've got the Bombay Sapphire Gin and Tonic Premium. Oh my so god! So I can monitor how many standard drinks I've had before I go and illegally drive somewhere. Because we are still social distancing and minister. Anyway, alright, so we've got here the Pampers Puff Pastry. Just a couple of sheets, we're not talking, you know, enough to feed the world here. Some shredded ham, there's about mm, somewhere between 50 and 100 grams there. We've got here tomato paste, the squeezable pizza sauce, or even some barbecue sauce if you've got it at home, that'll do. A little bit of minced garlic. We've also just got here just some Italian herb seasoning for, you know, to, so they taste herby and nice like pizza. Um, and some lactose-free shredded cheese because she doesn't do the dairy. It's, it's um, oh, it looks good. Please stop immediately. <laughs> Alright, so lactose free shredded cheese. Let's get started. Alright, so we'll take a sheet of our Pampers of Pastry. You can use any brand of pastry. But what we've got here today is the Pampers kind. Leave the blue wrapping on the back so it doesn't stick to anything and get nasty. I heard that you nasty. You nasty. You little nasty. Little nasty. So we've got this here. Tomato sauce is very simple. Blobs there, the spoon, just to spread that around nice and evenly. Needs a little bit more. There we go. Now we'll add just a little bit of the garlic. You can leave this in, you can take this out. It's not a crucial element to the recipe. But in this house we like to eat a lot of garlic. So, lovely. Pop on some seasoning. Not a lot, just a light sprinkle. While my wig's lifting off. Lift off, we have a lift off. And now we're going to go in with the ham. So what we're gonna do here is just delicately spread it out. It doesn't really matter how you cover this, as long as it's covered from end to end in some capacity, that will make sure that you get ham in every bite. And now we'll go in with the cheese. So the Liddell's lactose free cheese. Oh boy, cheese! Now I'll take a seat to this bit, mainly because my dress has fallen down. So we need to roll this Taking the backing sheet off. <clears throat> roll it, roll it, roll it on the river. So we roll it, roll it, roll it on the river. The river. We've got a nice little roll. What we do now is we get our Baking tray, pre lined with baking paper. Pop that there. Nice big sharp knife. We're going to cut one and a half inch rounds off of this. Like this. Watching your fingers. Very sharp knife. If you are a child, please do make sure you get a parent or adult's approval when using knives because knife safety is everything. There we go. So we've got here a nice little pinwheel. And we're just gonna pop that straight down on the tray like this. And we do that with all of them. And if we've got room, we'll make another one. Oh, goody. Now we're ready to go. And they look like this. They're on the tray, they're ready to roll. So what you need to do is have your, uh, put them in your preheated oven, which will be 220 degrees standard or 200 degrees fan forced. They need to be in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until that pastry is golden and puffed. Once that's done, they're ready to take out. 15 minutes. 
And that's starting now. Mm-hmm. Gin time! And we're back, guys. I've left them in for a couple more minutes because I felt like they needed it. They were still a little bit long, so we've been in for about 18 minutes. Audacity. Okay, Google, stop the time map. <coughs> now I'm just gonna pop these out of the oven. I'll be right back. Let's see how they look. Here we go, guys. That's how they look when they come out. Have a look. <coughs> yes, have a look, have a look. Okay, so let's just pop these on a nice little plate. Now the trick is to make them look good. Looking good. When they come off, put them on the serving plate upside down because it'll look like a dog's breakfast that way. The hands aside, oh, just like a gorgeous pile of cheese and ham and tomato and deliciousness. There we are, guys. This is how they look when they're done. They look like a bit of a train wreck, but that's okay. They're not meant to look pretty, they're just meant to taste good. Mm. Heaven. Absolute heaven. Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you like what you've seen, subscribe, or leave me some hate mail in the comments below. See you next week.